Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you are new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so in one hand, I have just hit an amazing, amazing milestone, and I have hit that that mark of getting a thousand subscribers on my channel. I've recently now just uploaded that clip to thank everybody. It's absolutely amazing. Honestly, I cannot believe it. I'm so humbled by it. I'm so touched by it. It truly, truly is inspiring and it is incredible. There is lots more to come, I can assure you. Now I thought now hitting that milestone, that's now time for me to be honest about what has been going on with my hair. So a lot of people have asked me, because um, I have recently been doing some recent changes of how my hair has been changing really quite rapidly, um, especially about the last three weeks. It started in May of this year. We are now the 28th of September today. So we are talking about hair loss. We're talking about hair loss. We're not talking extreme hair loss. Of course, you would think I've got a lot of hair. Thank you. <laughs> and I hope people still think that I've got good hair. Um, I am very, very conscientious. I'm very proud. I am not vain. I just like to look good for me. I like to look good and feel prof professional in my role. I'm in a very professional role. I work in accountancy and finance. Um, I love doing my channel. I love being well presented. I am. I like to be that kind of, um, that real old style, almost like gentleman, gentlemanry type of sort of look and kind of persona and mannerisms. I don't bode myself on that at all, but I, I like to be, I suppose you could say, the traditional gentleman. So I like to look the part, I like to, I like to be smart, I'm into all my nice formal clothes and things like that. But I also like my hair to look good. Now, excuse the bubbling, because it's really difficult about how to approach this. So a lot of people think when they see this, what on earth is going on about? He's got loads of hair. I never, ever had a problem with my hairline. Okay, I never, ever had a problem with the actual loss of my hairline. Um, density, yes. Now, back in 2015, I lost an awful lot of hair due to stress. I had a patch just up above here in this area here. Um, and it started into about, a, I'd say, a golf ball size. And then it thinned out to almost like the whole frontal part of my head. But I kept my hairline, just went real quite thin behind here. Um, and I, I want to say in about a six month period, maybe nine months, it came back to where it was. But I used to colour my hair dark to try and um, dye the scalp a bit darker and to make the hair appear a little bit thicker, a bit fuller. Long story short, eventually that got as black as black. Um, and then it grew back through. When the hair came through, it came through white, to be quite honest with you. So I carried on the colouring and then I don't really remember when, but it's sort of come back. Um, it's never been quite so thick as what it once was, but that seems to be an area where if I get quite stressed or if something's going on in my body, I've had quite a lot of operations and things, then I do get the hair fall from this side, but never like this. Now, I use a few different products to th and things which um, give my hair a little bit more texture, a little bit more fullness, but I get a lot of comments to say that I've got a lot of hair um, and what am I talking about type thing. But I have really noticed a change recently in this part of my hair, so this side bit here. You'll notice that I've parted my hair more off to one side. I don't do this side at the moment just because of what's going on with my hair at the moment. Um, I am currently under the doctor uh, for a number of different health issues, start related issues, um, and I am just awaiting some tests for a potential thyroid issue because the doctor examined my scalp and he's seen some patches, some very small patches just behind my hairline and um, quite a prominent loss up here. And he is sending me for some tests uh, for potential thyroid issues. So I'm waiting for that to happen in about a week's time. Um, it's a bit alarming because since May, I've increasingly lost more and more and more hair. There was a few supplements which I've tried, which previously um, have been absolutely amazing. But at the moment, no one product is helping. In fact, actually, it, it's probably getting a little bit worse. And my hair is actually getting quite weak, um, which I've never, ever experienced. Uh, and it's quite strange. It all seems to be the frontal part of my head, which is really strange. In a couple of my recent clips, you may have noticed, but just up above my hairline here, it's really difficult here. But what I will do as we're talking through here, just up here is the main predominant area of the loss, which I've got, which is a very kind of localized look of like a patch, but actually it's much more thinner. It's the light caught it a little bit here, um, but it is extreme and I have lost a lot in that area. Um, 
and I'm getting some changes up above, just behind my hairline, I'm getting some kind of patchy areas in here, and I know a lot of people will think, what on earth is he going on about? My main area is up in here, and this is where I've lost a lot. Um, never ever had this here at all. As you can see, the hair which I, I had used to be right down, I've never had a problem with my hairline. My hairline's just been just a purple here, as you can see, so I've lost a lot. And as you, as you move back, you can see there is a lot gone from here, um, which is really quite alarming. Um, this has been since about May, so this whole area, and you can see there's still some wispy, ever so slight wispy hairs in here, right from the middle, um, which I'm just grabbing hold of here. But even now, which is really annoying me, I mean, there's, that you probably can't even see this, but there's hairs still. I mean, I have lost loads today absolutely loads and you can see the gappy areas and this whole part of my head has just got so thin um and i mean as you can see this is a lot this is a lot of hair gone here and as you can see i've got the thin thin little long bits of hair to remind me where my hair once was which is really annoying um so you can see just how much is gone my hairdresser has, and I'm just going to, I don't even like that. So what I do, what I do is I part my hair. I don't even like showing that. So forgive me, but that's, that's that. I don't want to do that anymore. So what I had, I had my hair cut recently. So it's long. I've got an undercut, which it's grown. As you can see straight away, my hair is so much thicker this side. I haven't got a problem in here at all. The tight parting, no problem at all. There, the loss is crazy. Um, and it actually goes to about up here so it's almost like this sort of triangular area up here so what i tend to do and i found this style because what i've done is i moved all my hair over and i thought how do i give that illusion of fullness and as you can see just up above here it seems to be changing in my hairline as well which is really annoying me um i've got like a patch in here as you can see i've got like a patch in here as you can see and i as you can see look i mean if i was to do that but somebody, of course, will come on my channel. I had quite a nasty comment recently, um, and somebody put on my channel, um, look at you, what a clown. Um, and I was like, wow, really? Wow, why would you Why would you say that? But there we go, no problem at all. So that is me. Um, that's what I've been hiding. It feels, you know, I'm really so angry and so stressed at the same time because... I eat all the right things and I sit here on my channel and I try to help people about how to hold on to their hair thickness to improve the scalp environment. I have spent extortionate amounts of money in the past on vitamins, Viviscal, HR23+, plus. I use treatment sprays, I use all sorts of things. They are really great products and they have transformed my scalp previously. And this, I suppose, is, a, is kind of a, a bit of a lesson to us all, that your body can be as healthy, your scalp can be as healthy as anything. You can be super, super healthy, use all the right products, use exercising, great, don't drink alcohol, don't smoke, um, all the right, eating all the right things, a life of moderation, you're not doing anything excessively, you're not being silly, amazing. But... If something is slightly out of sync in your body, it does not matter how healthy other parts of your body are, your hair seems to suffer. It really, really does. It's like after my operations, I've had, um, I had my first hernia operation in uh, November 2017. I had, that was when, to be honest, my life changed. I had, um, I had the wrong incorrect mesh used then. Um, then I had my next uh, operation repair on that on that side in July 2018. Then I had a bladder operation. I can't quite remember now if it was 2020. I think it was. Yes, must have been 2020. Yes, it must have been 2020. And then 2021, I had my groin repair operation. So I have had four operations, endless procedures. In the middle of all of that, steroid injections to try and make things right. But luckily, last year my life changed when I have my groin reconstructed. I'm having a few issues with that now. Every time I've gone through an event like that, my hair suffers. It suffers. 
it's never quite suffered as bad as this, to be quite honest with you. What has gone on in here is crazy. I was on holiday in May, um, and my hair just seemed to be letting go of my scalp type thing. Lots of it. But I wasn't worried because I had quite a lot of hair. Fine, but a lot of it. Then June, I was away again, and throughout that whole time, it seemed to slowly accelerate a little bit. I was starting to get a little bit more concerned. So I bought some different products and things, and I was trying that out. I had some really great improvement from the supplement HR23+. Plus. Uh, I think that was closer into July. Um, and then this last, and I thought things were improving. And then in the last three weeks, just boom, the hair loss has just seemed to have just shed. And in this side and behind my hairline here, just seems to be letting go. And I do notice on the top of my head, just in amongst here as well, it's really changed. Now, I know a lot of people are going to think, well, what are you on about? You've got a lot of hair. Um, yes, but the illusion of a lot of hair. Um, my hairdresser is absolutely amazing. She is incredible. I used to have all one length hair. Now, I've had it cut into. You wouldn't think, you wouldn't think that would be the answer. But to try and give the illusion, because I have... A fine thick bit of the back here, a fine thicker bit this side, and I had a really thin side. So we cut into it, made it lighter, a lot more movement, um, changed the colour from blonde because that was just causing more problems with it being dry. Um, and then going darker has made it healthier, softer, sleeker. Still coming out tons, bearing in mind. Um, and yeah, as and I can even see from this side, my hair is much, much thinner. Um, which is alarming and it's annoying. It really, really is annoying. You, you spend your time doing what you want in life, to treat, working hard, sorry, doing good things. And and yeah, and then these type of things happen. And I know in the grand scheme of things, hair is, if that's all we had to worry about in this life, it would be absolutely fine. And I know a lot of other people's hair loss is incredibly worse. And you know what? Every single person's hair experience or thinning hair or hair loss journey will be different. It really will be. And that's why hair loss is so difficult to treat because it is is an individual basis. There are some amazing products out there. Amazing products just off the top of my head, which I absolutely love, which really slow it down, help and improve hair growth. The Yves Rocher uh, White Lupin Shampoo Conditioner, amazing. I've noticed my hair getting much, much thicker with that. At the moment, medical problems the doctor thinks going on so nothing's really helping to be quite honest with you but that's the shampoo i'm using at the moment i reviewed that on my channel i absolutely love that one um so that's by eve roche i um, mean the green bottle shampoo conditioner i love um just off the top of my head the it's a product which i will be reviewing very very shortly it's by the ogx i think it's the um acetine and caffeine uh Niacin, is that how it's pronounced? And caffeine, anti hair fall uh, shampoo conditioner, which is one which I found randomly. I used to use it years ago. Found it a couple of weeks back. Absolutely love that one as well. So that's really, really great. If you know what I mean, fantastic. Do try it out if you find it. We'll be reviewing that shortly on my channel. And then the Andrew Fit, I think it's Andrew Fit Simon in the red bottle, the caffeine shampoo conditioner, um, currently in boots. That's amazing as well. All controlling hair fall. Really, really great for hair fall. Um, helps create the illusion of thicker, fuller hair, but actually getting up that core base and that scalp environment helping. A system which I'm using at the moment is uh, Waterman's shampoo and conditioner. I'll be honest, I'm on that one. That's as much as I'm going to give away. We will be reviewing that shortly. Um, and I'm using the tonic spray. Incredibly expensive to be quite honest with you as well, but we will be reviewing that shortly to give you my final verdict on that one. Um, but ultimately, yeah, I'm not going to be cutting this hair off. No, I have played with the idea of thinking it. I've had it cut into it a little bit. I like the length of my hair. It has got thinner, um, but with the right tricks, tips, that type of thing, I can still hopefully rock it looking quite cool. Um, at the moment, there are things I can do. I'm parting my hair off to this side. I could part it that side, but I don't like the fact that you can see this going on here. And it goes back quite far in here as well with the loss too. And especially when you can see those like little tiny downy hairs just reminding me where all my hair used to be. Um, so I'm hoping that grows through. Um, but for the foreseeable future, my hair will be parted off this way. I'm quite fortunate that because of the products I use, my hair holds volume quite well. But however, it is quite flat. It is quite fine. But my sort of go-to style if I'm working from home is kind of slightly behind the ear and off to one side. Um, and then volume kind of on the top to one side slightly. 
Um, and then where it's cut into a little bit, it just gives it that flickiness, that texture, that fullness. So to look at me, you think I'd have a lot of hair. But you start getting hold of it and looking at my scalp. Yeah, there's a lot gone. So when you do get these nasty comments, what is the saying? Um, don't judge somebody before you've walked a mile in their footsteps. Yeah, how about that one? <laughs> I've had a few comments recently who have reached out to me and they've been a bit nasty. And it's just, um, that's why I say amazing milestone to hit at a thousand subscribers. And thank you absolutely to everybody um, for subscribing and every second of my channel watch because it comes from here it truly does um and yeah when you get one bad comment it knocks you for six it really really does um so there there we go that's what i'm going through at the moment um if you'd like to ask a question if you think what on earth am i going on about or if you think you'd like to ask me a question what i'm using right now please do reach out to me i love to receive all comments and questions it really does mean the world to me and i will absolutely do my utmost best to get back to you as soon as i can so thank you very much once again and until next time let me just leave you with this one thought if you are going through a problem and you're losing your hair at the moment let me just slow it right down here for you it could very well be stressed but the first thing you need to do is see your family doctor or a medical professional before you start on that journey of those whole oversaturated market of all different hair products which you can use. There is help out there and there are products out there which work amazingly well. Okay, so on that note, thank you very much. And do you know what? I will be seeing you real soon. Take great care. Wishing you the utmost best. Stay happy, stay positive because that will help your hair as well. Bye for now. Take great care. See you soon.